Alright then, in this installment of Fun and Zero's Lab, we're going to go through a full alignment procedure with a real working cell at real working currents. This is the VSPB cell that many of you saw at Jarbo's Mill. Um, you recall from the last video how much foam was forming but based on the leftover uh, cleaning solution was left in the in the cell. I've replenished the cell, rinsed it completely uh, with uh, tap water and then with distilled water and then I've replenished it with distilled water and fresh potassium hydroxide electrolyte. There is precisely two liters of distilled water in here and there is precisely 50 grams of potassium hydroxide mixed with this two liters. At that concentration with this cell design and this much plate surface area and the amount of gap that I have in between the plates, I draw just about exactly 30 amps cold, which is the target that I'm after. All right, I'm happy to report that the device has been running for about 30 minutes now. I did have to put a cooling fan uh, blowing across this, so I am going to put a CPU cooling fan on the opposite side of this in the finished product. Uh, the, one of the things that I did notice is that as the case temperature heated up, the the oscillator timing capacitor, the 0 0.022 microfarad timing capacitor, as it heats up, it has a negative coefficient, and the frequency was going up. As I, as I put the fan on it, the frequency dropped again, so there's quite a bit of frequency drift. I want to keep it around 2500 hertz to, to uh, 3000 hertz. That's a completely arbitrary number, but that's where it seems to sing nicely, so that's, that's the reason I chose that frequency. Um, it is running 18 amps RMS at 13.8 volts, that's 248 8 watts going into the cell right now. So for 248 watts going into the cell, I will produce 500 milliliters of gas in in 22 seconds. So, 60 divided by 22 times 500 milliliters is 1,363 milliliters a minute for 248 watts. So divide that by 248 and I get 5.5 MMW. 5.5 MMW efficiency right now with this cell under a pulse condition. This cell temperature at the present time is 107.4 degrees. That's pretty efficient. I'm pretty happy with that. Now if I increase the current by raising the voltage and then raising the duty cycle. And it looks like about 20 amps is as high as I can go. Hmm. With this resistor, I might have to uh I might have to make the value of R12 a little bit less by shortening the resistor cutting it from four and a half inches to maybe three inches in total length. Resoldering the end and then going back and doing some more tests. But right now about 20 amps seems to be the most I can pump into this cell.
But you can see as I lower and raise the voltage, as I raise the voltage, the pulse duty cycle has to has to uh, shorten, and the RMS current value is rock steady, 20 amps the whole time. So it is working as advertised, but it's only limiting to 20 amps because the resistance of R12 is too high and it is dropping too much signal voltage for the amount of current that's going into the cell. So we'll shorten this and we'll make it a little bit less sensitive so that I can get a little bit more current out of this one particular device.